high definition video that isn't going to be very high def. <laughs> Whatever, it's still going to be big on the screen and I'm going to be happy with that. Um, I'm using Camps to Studio, which I'm fairly new to, so... Yay. Big happy face for me. I guess I'm special. Woohoo. <laughs> uh, stop drawing. Okay, there we go. What I'm going to be doing today is showing you how to make a NRG mod for uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. We're going to be editing the DFF because lots of people want to know how to edit DFFs and how to use Z Modeler in general because other videos are either too hard, too complicated, and blah 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 blah. I'm just going to show you really simple, easy stuff that you should know. Alright, so what I've done is I've opened up the NRG dot f uh, NRG 500.txt in Text Workshop. I've exported this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy into here. And I have went my computer, C drive, program files, Rockstar Games. San Andreas, models, generic, vehicle, and I have exported each and every one of these files into a generic thing in here, which is my wheels and my things in here. You don't have to do this, but I recommend you do it if you're doing a lot of modding, because then it's just easier to access and works well with uh, your whole setup of stuff. Anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the computer, C drive, program files, down to Z modeler, wherever it may be. There it is, okay. You have to have the full version of Z modeler or a uh, cracked version of Z modeler too. I suggest looking on LimeWire for something like that. The uh, only other way I can think of of editing a Z modeler uh, car for San Andreas would be to open up a Z modeler file format, and the only way you can get those is by asking somebody to import a DFF and then save it as a Z modeler file and then just give it to you. But that only works if you have the cheesy trial thing. Anyways, let's go to Z Modeler 2. And I'm not making any sense to myself right now, so if the stuff I say doesn't make any sense to you, don't be mad. So first we're going to click the texture box. This is just a bug or something I found that works really well with uh, editing. So as I said, a couple minutes ago, we uh, exported all of these images to the new folder. We're going to import all of these and then we're going to import all of the generics that I had inside my pictures. Now since the NRG does not use the wheels from generic, it has its own somewhere. Oh, this is my videos. Haha, <laughs> sweetie me. I'm only going to import from vehicle. Alright, now I can go okay. I'm gonna go okay once more. Now I'm gonna import the dot DFF from my new folder. I used image tool to export the dot DFF. And everybody's like, oh wow, it's already already mapped on there. Already ready mapped on there. Already mapped on there. Or whatever. As you can see everything is mapped on there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. What you can do is we're gonna first like now you can see everything's in here except we have this one the guy that's in the default one that you don't need anymore. Hooray! So everything is loaded up, and if you didn't do that little thing that I told you at the very beginning, you'd have to go through one at a time, importing all of these pictures all the way through to get to the very bottom and finding out which picture goes where 
all the generics, all the vehicles, everything, and it would take hours. All right. Um, for video sake, I'm just going to be doing something really easy and simple that will teach you how to create a basic mod. This is one of the first mods I actually. This is the first mod I came out with for vehicles. It's the license plate and neon light mod. I'm actually gonna do a license plate and a neon light. I was just gonna go with license plate, but this works. So, where's my picture? All right, so I've already started on a license plate right here. So you called it license. So I'm gonna drag down a bit, and I'm gonna fill in the bottom with a fancy color. And since I like blue, I'll go with blue. And okay, there we go. Save as license neon. Here we go. And then we can take the license plate and put it on the garbage. It's not needed. Now, first we're gonna make the license plate. Let's go in here to the back of the body. And this is the chassis. Yes, it is. Okay. And this section over here looks like the back of the bike. So I'm just going to go about here. I'm going to drag to there. So that looks about centered because you can see that the lines are the same on both sides. I'm going to drag down to the size that I think would be good for license plate and then gonna drag out a bit gonna zoom in first and this is the width of the license plate on the sides and yeah so I'm gonna make it small because the license plate is a plate there we go and this is our 3d window Let's see what it looks like as you can see that is a very thin proper license plate right there very special and sexual license plate <laughs> Gonna go to the right view window. Zoom in here. Press select button, quadra. Click the vertex mode or whatever Dally Man calls it. The Alley Man. He's the guy who's helped me out and trained me on how this works. Select uh, selected mode on. Modify move X and Y. Turn back on the NRG.DFF deselect everything by holding the control and right clicking because we have on quadra mode that allows you to select in a uh, certain area and then we right we simply left click and we can drag so we can be like way out here and dragging way over here and dragging or whatever because it's the ones that we selected with select mode if you turn off selected mode you can move pretty much everything and anything without having to select it but then you can mess up a lot easier with your mod. And then you'll be like, oh my goodness, I don't want the license plate to be there. Or, oh my goodness, why is my neon light in my tire? Or, oh my goodness, why is my tire in the middle of my motorcycle? But whatever. And that looks fairly centered. You can always check in here make sure by using the little boxes to tell okay this one's there and this one's here so move it over back one and I'm not kidding that looks really really close to dead center now I'll deselect it by holding left click making sure it's still on quadra and selected now I'm going to turn off the energy now I'm going to create a new material or texture that is like the body of the NRG lights and all that for the license plate. I'm going to call this extra. Doesn't matter what you call it, you can call it extra body. Milo 34. Neon. Lice. Doesn't matter. Want to make this white?